this entire website has been created, deployed and hosted by an agent. The agent I am talking about is Minimax agent. So this is from Minimax AI. So this is a general intelligent agent built to tackle long horizon complex tasks. It has expert level multi step planning to flexible task breakdown and end to end execution. So it is designed to act like a reliable teammate with strengths in programming and tool use, multi-model understanding and generation, seamless MCP integration. So this particular agent is free to use, say for thousand credits. So this is the website of Minimax agent. You can create an account over here and you can start your tasks. So what I said is that I said, create a fan website for Ritesh Srinivasan for myself. Uh, it says your task is to create a fan website. To create an effective fan website, I need more additional information like who is Ritesh Srinivasan, profession, what type of content would you like on the website, biography, achievements, do you have any specific design preferences or style in mind? Are there any specific features you like included? Do you have any specific existing content images or information that I should include? This would, information would help me create a comprehensive and engaging fan website that meets your expectation. I said search about Ritesh Srinivasan on Google and do the above all. Okay, then it started doing it. The result was this particular website. If you look at over here, it has a nice introductory section, right? Uh, which uh, tells about me in terms of, you know, my patents. So I have 13 US uh, patents, which have been granted and 30 patent publications, my YouTube subscribers, my top mate profile where I've mentored more than 100 plus people, my total years of experience in the industry, which is actually more than 20, but it is pulled out from my top mate profile. And these are all my public profiles, my GitHub, my YouTube channel, my top mid profile. So it has a nice this thing. And then it is start, uh, it has created these various sections. For example, if I were to go to achievements, it kind of highlights all the achievements of mine over here. Like I'm a top 1% performer on top mid, 13 granted patents, my YouTube channel has 26k plus subscribers and so on. Right. And then it, uh, it even did, you know, in what areas are my patents being granted. So it says 13 granted US patents, 30 top patent filings. And then it kind of, you know, uh, you know, lists down in which area these patents are. So I have five plus patents in medical imaging, granted patents. It has actually pulled this information properly over here. It has created, you know, the other areas where I have patents like machine learning optimization, like data processing and NLP, right? And it has created a nice, you know, this, these are not my words over here. It has actually created an innovation philosophy for me over here. Right. Then it talks about my YouTube channel over here, 26K subscribers, 1 million plus total views. My education focus is this thing. The right impact is positive and content focus areas are generative AI, large language models, machine learning fundamentals, natural language processing, computer vision, industrial applications. So it has done all those things. It talks about my education impact. So I have a course on Udemy. So it has pulled out those things. So basically it has created my timeline over here. Right. So when I completed my master's, what was my early career? Where did my innovation begin? and so on. So it has done all these things very nicely. So I really like the way in which it has created this website. There are some factual errors though. For example, in mentorship services, it says for professionals, it is $185 for a 45 minute session, which is actually wrong. If you look at my top mid profile, it is actually, you know, it is 1,500 rupees, not $185. Okay. So this will come uh, close to a little uh, more like, uh, you know, maybe $15, $16. Yeah, 16, uh, it, it could be close to $16 or a little close to 20 USD basically, right? So that is, uh, you know, this part is wrong over here for students and freshers, it is $115. This part, there are some factual issues. So you need to verify what comes out of output from an agent, right? But I can download this website and even I can deploy it wherever I want because it gives the code to me, okay? Then it talks about my mentorship and finally my contact, no explicit contact, but it tells about you know, my YouTube channel, my GitHub, my top mate, my hugging face, my Udemy, um, you know, course, right and it has joined the ai community so it has actually done it very well now let's look into the breakdown over here so once i say that search and aritesh shrinivasan about myself on google and uh, do the above all it creates a you know a to-do plan and the plan looks like this step one research and analyze aritesh shrinivasan's background and all those stuff that is research step get any media and step two build and deploy an interactive fan website okay then it starts one by one so first it says that completed uh, information analysis um, so let's see what it has done over here. So it has actually, you know, uh, broke down the tasks further. 
So it says that I will call a research agent over here. Uh, I'll be I'll be researching Ritesh Srinivasan to gather comprehensive um, this thing. Somewhere I had seen that uh, I'll make use of a research agent or something like that. And here it says gather comprehensive information, break down it as initial search and baseline knowledge, biological information, uh, biographical information, sorry, uh, professional career, notable works and contribution, personal life interest, multimedia contact, and then it pulls out like this. Right? Then it says completed web search. So it searched for my profile, it searched on Udemy, like all the search results, right? From YouTube, it pulls it up. Uh, it pulls out my patents and patent applications and all those stuff. Um, then search results confirm that I'm an highly experienced AI ML professional. Then it further searches career achievements. Uh, it searches about my, you know, Philips where I previously worked. So it pulls out information about that. All the patents assigned to Philips and all those stuff, it pulls out. Then it creates, uh, it kind of completes web search, my interests and, you know, personal life. I tries to figure out some of these things, right? And then, uh, you know, it says completed uh, web search. It pulls out my images also, whatever images which is available on the web. It creates the search results and then it starts creating a research report. Okay, so this is the research report which it has created about my biological information, professional career, career highlights and so on. Right, then what it does is that it does ongoing reflection over here. Current task needs to improve. Then excellent, I've completed the research on it. Now let me proceed to build the fan website. And then it starts to create a website. Uh, it creates workspace. Uh, it completed uh, created a workspace basically, right? It completed some file operations for the workspace, like creating these search results, uh, images, completed image loading. Uh, it talks about my pulls out information about my Udemy data, pulls out information about from Udemy, right? Com it creates a React project. And then it starts, you know, now let me search for some high quality AI ML theme for the images, and it pulls out some images uh, like this. Right now, I have themed images, and then uh, let me copy the JSON data to public data directory. It starts building up the website basically, and it says this is how the design will feature hero section with the professional photo and introduction about biography, career, all this stuff. Right, uh, and then it is going on creating this website basically, and then it even deploys the website for you. Right, and it says browser action is complete, agent has completed task, and check deployment result. So you can actually open this website, which is what I've done over here, which is a deployed thing. And you know, it is actually created this wonderful website for me. So this is excellent results from this particular agent. I, and I like how it has actually planned and completed this particular activity. All the intermediate results are present, except for some factual errors in data, which, you know, which can happen, which needs to be verified. Otherwise, this website is as good as, you know, I can directly deploy it. And this is a good website highlighting my, uh, you know, for me. Right, highlighting my achievements and highlighting my uh, goals and other stuff over here. So this was one task which I tried. Right, the other task which I tried was to create a five-day itinerary to Vietnam. Uh, standard uh, this thing which I try with other agents also. So I said plan a five-day itinerary to Vietnam from Bangalore during the month of October 2025. Total budget is around 902 lakhs for three people. I prefer to stay in three-star hotels. Prefer local cab for transport in Vietnam. And then it starts, you know, creating again a to-do, which is the first step. Then it says, now I need to delegate this to the research agent to handle comprehensive research and analysis. So this is the thing. It creates a to-do steps, you know, complete travel itinerary with day-to-day -day plans, hotel accommodations, flight options, cost breakdowns, and practical travel tips. Uh, it talks about all these things. And then it starts collecting the information. It says completed the information like this, right? Five days, what can be done? Uh, in phase one, what I will do is that I will do initial research and destination selection. In, under that, there are subtasks like research flight options, analyze flight costs based on five day, recommend most travel suitable city or region to visit. Second is accommodation and itinerary planning, which is research three star hotels, develop a detailed day to day itinerary. Third one is logistics and budgeting, which talks about uh, you know logistics and how to do it. This is the phase four is practical information and final report. So it breaks down this particular task into subtasks and major phases. And then it starts about you know some key questions: what are cost effective? What is the resource strategy? Primary data sources are booking or flights on hotel search strategies. Use batch web search for information. Verification plan. Create a verification plan. And then you know expected deliverables is this: a comprehensive five-day Vietnam travel itinerary in a markdown file, detailed cost breakdown, practical travel and tips. Then it starts doing one by one over here. So this is flightsearch.py. So basically, it writes a Python program to do flight search API to connect to flight search API and pull information from there. Okay, uh, so it executes that particular thing and creates uh, flight results.json data file. Uh, it runs that and it, um, you know, search results it gets. It does again hotel search.py again to search for hotels. It writes the code, right, to connect to APIs to search for hotels. Uh, then it talks about, uh, you know, it starts creating my itinerary like this. Okay, 
to be completed if you see it just starts and it says this is this thing when goals and then it starts completing filling one by one day by day itinerary uh, it starts like this starts filling the what you call your uh, content okay and finally it has actually created my itinerary over here with all the you know cost breakdown budget breakdown five day where to visit what to do things like that so this is also done nicely so as i said early bird you get thousand um, new user groups or credits that's what it says so i became a little bit ambitious and i said like create a fully functional nfs like game which can run on a browser it started planning for that okay it says design and develop a complete 3d racing game with physics controls gameplay systems web development step 3d graphics engine is 3js physics simulation multiple racing tracks car selection and customization responsive controls and so on right deliverable is complete browser based racing game with nfs style gameplay ready to play online so it starts uh, you know creating a react project setup and then uh, it uh, say it does some command line execution of uh, you know creating all the folders and all those stuff uh, let me explain the project structure and building the racing game it starts creating a project structure and then it starts building the game it is in fact actually you know uh, it's such as for images for the racing game background speedometer finish a lot of these things uh, it's such as for say what you call game store for some state management okay physics engine integration physics components it starts writing code for that uh, let me create the main game scene that combines everything so that is what it says over here and it is actually given me complete code over here but unfortunately because there are only thousand credits i have run out of credits to continue this task but i can download this code and i can deploy it following some instructions and to see if it can work but this is a very nice agent with which you can do a lot of tasks and here are your subscription plans right so for dollars 19 per month you get 5000 credits approximately 15 tasks you get peak hour priority early access to beta features for close to 70 dollars a month you can do approximately 60 tasks right and early access to beta features so this is the cost associated with this particular agent it is free for 1000 up to 1000 credits which in my case looked like two tasks okay the third task it kind of ran out of credits so this is an interesting and a very good release from minimax ai uh, so the minimax agent what they are saying is that um, it was already in internal use for 60 days it, it has become a daily tool for over 50 percent of our team and if you were to look at you know what kind of things are possible with this particular agent they have so many examples over here which you can play and see on what kind of things can be done with this particular agent so you can play it and you know you can check out this thing okay this is in chinese i cannot read this but there could be some things in english as well okay let's see if this is in english yeah so it says convert this pdf into presentation slides um, uh, the presentation should be approximately 15 minutes long so it goes about creating ppts i believe so so this or ppt or maybe pdf slides i think so it is actually creating you know ppts uh, this is awesome if you are able to create ppts like this using an agent it helps you a lot in creating content right let's go to the result and see it's actually created a ppt over here interesting wow so this is really nice so you can do many such things with this minimax agent check out this agent for your own purposes see if it is feasible see if the costs are feasible and make use of this wonderful agent from minimax hope this video is useful see you in another video